What's going on guys? This is Empty Box and this is more Grand Turismo 2 because it's awesome. Okay, trying to remember where we were last time when I last left off because I haven't played for about a week. So uh, let's go into the special cup. We got our FD RX-7 because why not? Let's see if we can make some more progress. Looking to maybe, maybe cheese some things and maybe maybe get a race car maybe if I remember correctly I have not looked I am on the honor system here let's see if I still remembered the right race all these years later I'm wondering how many people out there are saying I know what you're talking about and you did the wrong race sir I know what you're talking about and you did the right one but uh, we're gonna find out if I can remember how to shift and we're good to go Plus, this race should have some actual competition. Some legitimate competition. The best kind of competition. Although we are back at Tahiti Road, which... I'm tired of seeing this track, to be honest. Unfortunately, it hasn't come back since. Actually, I don't know about fortunately. It's not that bad of a circuit. Especially that little... little right-left combination there. It does look like they're not quite up to my speed, which with the 394 horsepower requirements are maximum, because that's how it's done in this game, just maximum horsepower. You can have anything you want as long as you don't go over that horsepower limit. Yeah, kind of nice that they did it that way. I think this is the most fair way to do it, to be honest, because uh, Grand Turismo 5 got a little ridiculous with you need this specific car with this specific layout, with this specific car type, and all that bullcrap, so you needed like 50,000 different cars that you really only needed for one race, and you would never drive again. Yeah, I like the idea of just horsepower limits. Now, fortunately, Grand Turismo 4 took a little bit step further with the whole A-spec points, which I thought was a really cool idea, because it kind of gave you a way to judge how difficult the race was going to be. That's one of the things I really like about Gran Turismo, is it just gives you options. You know, if I want a cakewalk of a race, I got a cakewalk of a race. I show up with the fastest car on the track, boom, instant win. If I want a challenging race, hey, show up in a TRXX, we got a challenging race. Then we're going to embarrass the competition, because there's nothing quite like stomping people with the TRXX. Can we all agree on that? Can I get an amen? <laughs> but unfortunately they seem to have gone away from that because I guess it made too much sense to let people just have fun and that said we are about to cross the finish line here in our first race of the session and more importantly let's not actually call the race over yet because it's a three lap race See, I was just testing you guys, making sure you guys were paying attention and not just waiting for prize cars. Okay. Yeah, I just totally chucked him in the wall there. My car's damaged. Just kidding. I gotta say, I really like these RX-7s. Just look awesome. Mazda, why you no have no Arctic 7? That's a serious question, although supposedly there's a rumor going around that there might end up being another rotary Mazda, which would be a good thing to see. Especially if it's in something like an RX 7. But not the RX 8, because the RX 8 was too heavy. RX-7 was cool because it was so lightweight and powerful and awesome. And they kept pretty much the same thing and just made it really heavy and crappy. Yeah, honestly. That's a bad mouth RX-8, I mean. It's, it's an okay car, but it's not the RX-7, man. And for a race with 397 horsepower maximum, 
a Nissan March Super Turbo. I have got to get me one of them. What's that thing look like? Can't remember which button changes views. Help me, help me. Oh, we'll just wait for the thing to drive by. Wait, it's got those lights up front in the grill. It's got the hood scoop. What have we learned about hood scoops? Automatic 15 horsepower. Give me my money. Okay, now let's see if I'm right. Let's see if I am right. I very well could be wrong because, like I said, this has been a very long while and I didn't look it up because it's just cheating. <laughs> yeah, still remember it all these years later. <laughs> oh boy, I am surprised that I actually remembered where that car is. Entirely surprised. Yeah, as a kid, I used to grind the snot out of that race just to get cash quick. Three-lap race, obviously. $125,000 plus $10,000 prize. Why am I going into weight reduction? It's a race car. It don't need no weight reduction. But it does need something. Ow. Oh. I thought this car had a turbo upgrade available. This has something available for an upgrade. But I do know it has something. I do know it has tires. You can never go wrong with tires, of course. But, uh... Huh. So there's no upgrades available. I could have sworn there was. But, uh... <laughs> that's all cool. Oh, we're, we're overpowered. Nerf me. <laughs> I'm coming for you, America! Or I'm not, because I don't got my license yet, because I'm lazy, and I haven't done the licenses. But we will go to the high-speed ring. Just because I finally got a race car, so I'm just gonna race it wherever. It's gonna be really random. I'm gonna be all over the place. The point of the game here, the point of this series isn't to get 100% completion or anything like that, but it's to uh, have fun and eventually win the Grand Tourism World Championship thing. I mean, just look at how ridiculous this car looks. <laughs> it's just... Oh yeah, super extra, uh, extremely wide body. Regular with wing. It's like, why? Front end, yo, have a giant splitter while you're at it. If I remember correctly, I could also go ahead and uh, use the wrong buttons because suddenly I switched into like Forza mode and started using the triggers for my acceleration. I think you can also win possibly the Gran Turismo or not the Gran Turismo Cup, the uh, GT All Stars. Which gives you a boatload of money, but I need to go get my international A license first, and I'm not going to do that right now. I'm just going to drift all over the place. I think it is sufficient to say that we have received a substantial increase in speed. <laughs> See, that's what I mean by it. you don't need to grind in Grand Turismo. Like, literally, I am about an hour and a half into the game. And I have a race car. And guess what? I could have gotten one like an hour ago. Gameplay-wise. I would have just decided to go ahead and do that. Because I really didn't want to do that. But I figured we'd go ahead and cheese the system. But, uh, yeah, I'm all over the place. Just like, it's just a ridiculous, <laughs> ridiculous car. I don't. I want to know where this thing actually came from. What series this car raced in? Because I've never seen it outside of Gran Turismo. I've never heard of it outside of Gran Turismo. But that's pretty awesome. And what else is pretty awesome is the fact that a Dodge Intrepid just went faster 
than a BMW 740i. What? <laughs> that thing, that little front wheel drive piece of crap, is faster than a BMW, apparently. Gran Turismo Logic. Gran Turismo Logic also dictates that that car is superior to everything. It's because it's a Nissan GTR. Automatic best car ever. People show up to a race with a 594 horsepower limit and you don't even get to 594 horsepower. What do you think is going to happen? Someone's going to show up with 550 horsepower and then you're going to get smoked. <laughs> Ford Tour GTR. Silly, silly, silly. Endurance events. Don't feel like doing these right now because they, quite frankly, take too friggin' long. Although the rally events are also a great way to make money, and yeah, Pikes Peak Hill Climb. Yeah. Yeah. It, it's just absolutely fantastically awesome. It really is. Man, my, my race car is too racy. I have to voyage on over into this this area is my car a station wagon no now we're gonna be making some money or we're not because I again I'm too friggin lazy to go get my license right now and plus I don't want to show you guys me getting my license because I may or may not fail every other test because I suck at the license tests. Actually I really kind of do suck at the license test. Not even lying on that one. Although there was a point where I did get gold on all the licenses here in Grand Turismo 2. It's just so much fun, except for the slaloms. Which, if you played Grand Turismo Mode 2, you know about the slaloms. And you probably don't want to be reminded about the slaloms, because, quite frankly... My god. I think that slalom tests in Grand Turismo Mode 2, honestly, are probably the most difficult... Difficult tests in the series. Just... Not easy. Not easy at all. I mean, they're they're difficult just to pass. Let alone to actually get gold on. But it just makes it so much fun, you know, getting those licenses. It's like I don't need them to show me how to drive. Well, maybe. The jury's still out on that one, but just to have them there, just that way I have that challenge when I wanna take it. I'll bow before my race car. Hey, you people can't even touch this, man. I'm on a different planet because I'm driving a car from a different planet. Look at it. It just looks like a UFO. No! Driver error. Now, there is one more car that I need to go ahead and find, but I can't remember where you actually get this car. And I really don't want to look it up, because I kind of feel like that is so much cheating, and my god, suddenly I've become a terrible driver, or a more terrible driver. Maybe I do need to, to show me how to drive. Oh, well, your Elise has no chance. That's my UFO. That would be the uh, ZZ2. That car was awesome. I don't think they ever actually ended up making that car, though, sadly.
then again, when you think about it, looking back at it, maybe maybe they kind of did. Only it's called a Nissan GTR nowadays. <laughs> Which is actually quite funny because, quite frankly, I really can't stand the R35. But the ZZ2 is basically a car that is like super skyline and a two door body. Sports car style, by the more traditional GT layout. <laughs> it wouldn't be Gran Turismo. <laughs> I was showing up in a race car to race regular cars. It just wouldn't be the same. It just is not the same. That is part of the fun. The ridiculousness that is absolutely no challenge in the driving department. Or in the racing department. Because your car is like totally in a different league. It's just part of the fun. It's part of the charm. Oh. Tuscan Speed 6, huh? That one also sells for a pretty penny, but we're gonna keep that because uh, we can we can make use of that car. In fact, the last episode I was uh, looking at TVR, so how convenient! Darn it! Pretty sure I have too much power for like everything in this car, unless. Oh, all right. Check the stage wagon cup. Until we get over here, in which case, I still have too much power, and I don't have my licenses because because I'm lazy. Yeah. Boom! Going down. Right here, right now. This is about to happen. We are about to win the GT300 championship. In a car that is not GT300. Sorry? I gotta say, I really like the uh, Japanese GT cars. They just look so cool. Sure, they're basically prototypes with bodywork that looks like a regular car. But they're just so cool looking because they are prototypes with different looking car. Or prototypes with regular car bodies. That's half the fun, you know? Kind of like curb stomping people here in Gran Turismo is half the fun. Understeer! I remember I used to hit that tire barrier into the tunnel like every single lap. If you want to feel like an idiot, that's how you do it. <laughs> One thing I do kind of miss about Grand Turismo 4, though, is the B spec mode. As strange as that seems, it keeps you from doing races like this that you know you're going to win. But you just really don't want to do. I mean, it's fun the first couple of times, but by the time you get to the end of the series, it's just like, yeah, I've already won the championship. Can you just go ahead and give me my money, and we'll be good. So that's really all I'm here for, man. I'm just here for the money. Doing it for the Benjamins. Which, for you guys outside the United States, that reference will mean absolutely nothing. I apologize. Oh boy, listen to that. That sound of power. Woo! They just don't stand a chance, man. It's because we're driving a GTR, man. It's just not a fair fight. Actually, I'm not sure this is technically a GTR, although it does say GTR on it. So... I'm going to go with that one, and we're going to stick to that story. Easy 
he does it. Or not. You can just run off the track everywhere. Just love the sound of the blow off valve here in Gran Turismo 2. Makes me laugh. Sounds like a, one of those walker things out of Star Wars. I'm sure some Star Wars guys are like, Oh my god, how do you not know about that? That's the uh, Imperial Death Walker machine thing. You know, the things that walk around the snowy planet and they fire lasers and they make that noise. That's what it sounds like. I think I have time to make a pit stop. Literally. I, I have got to go to the bathroom. But there shall be no pausing. The race stops for no one. And someone's probably saying out there, well, if you want to add to your realism and your immersion, just go! Seriously, so when I see someone do that online, or like you're on the pace lap or something, formation lap, they pull over and it's like, oh, I gotta go to the bathroom real quick. Just like, dude, up your immersion, go for it. I mean, that's what a real race car driver would do. You're playing a racing sim, so quite frankly, you probably are really interested in racing. Just go for it. You know, you have to do it. You know, you can see. Schumacher or Senna or Sterling Moss ever pull over and take a leak? No, they just went. Before the race. Before they got into the car. Because that's just something that you do. Pre-race. You know. <laughs> what kind of point system is that, by the way? 864321. They couldn't even use the old school F1 style points. You know, 10 6 Four, three, two, one. I believe it was. Let's see. Any cool cars in here. Like seriously, that's the coolest Celica ever. Except for the one that came after it. But uh, anyways, I'm gonna go to the bathroom now because I have to.